With the right voice. You know, someone wholesome, someone incredible. Someone gettable? Someone famous. If a big name is all it takes... Get me that voice. Perfect. Then television networks have never been so well prepared. I'm back. <laughs> this fall, CBS will add Robin Williams' name to the bountiful list of stars pilfered from the big screen for a return to television. Do you wonder ever you're a bad man? Woody Harrelson's on that list. World needs bad men. He and Matthew McConaughey will be thrust onto the small screen this January in HBO's True Detective. Of course, McConaughey is also preparing to release three full-length films just in case this hugely profitable world of dramatic television series doesn't work out. Good actors want to go where they can tell great stories. And right now, the greatest stories are on TV. These are the kinds of meaty, complex characters that you just don't find in a 90-minute blockbuster or sequel. Whether they're returning to their roots or starting fresh, this year's television stars are creating a buzz as planned. But they're hardly breaking new ground. Power is a lot like real estate. It's all about location, location, location. House of Cards. Now you're going to hit me with the real, the real straight talk. Marty. And House of Lies both star mansion-dwelling former movie men. Meanwhile, Steve Buscemi and director Martin Scorsese expanded their talents to create Boardwalk Empire years ago. To the future. So when TV executives pay the big money for these actors, these movie actors, what they're really paying for is a built-in fan base and a proven track record, knowing they can deliver with high-profile performances. Television is basking in the glow of its recent it's triumphs, and the networks anywhere. are not shy about letting us know why we should keep tuning in. Greg Kinnear, front and center to promote Fox's new series, Rake. With a face like this, sweetheart, my dad's heart's going to be awfully full. The competition's a bit less subtle about its fancy casting. Rebel Wilson is coming to television, and ABC's got her. So if TV now has her and him and them and these, what are the sticky floor theaters offering? Your Brad Pitt's, your George Clooney's, your Angelina Jolie's, they're still going to be in movies and not on television because there's something just sort of big and spectacular about the movie-going experience. But what they lack is the fact that on TV, you can sort of develop a relationship with these characters. So if you want a night out with some jumbo popcorn, go ahead. Boss, <laughs> secret sauce. Just remember, with so many stars believing quality is on TV, come again. Don't forget to set your DVR.